You have got to learn how to turn on God mode for No Man's Sky when you're playing on the PC. Now, this is really super easy. You're going to be able to make a, uh, a multi-tool that'll get 28,000 damage. You're going to be able to have uh, a lot of storage on your freighter, 48 by 48, in 10 storage containers. Normally you can't get that much. And you're going to be able to have a fighter that thinks it's a hauler. So you got to see this. This is the No Man's Sky God Mode Part 1. And here we're going to take a new save file where we found our ship. And we're going to take a look at what the game currently says this player has in the save file. And then we're going to adjust the save file. And I'll show you how we do that. And you can take a look at this URL to see where you can get the No Man's Sky save file editor. There will be a link down below. And then we'll come back into the game after we adjust the save file and we'll take a look at what this, what this character currently has. And in part two, we'll dig in deeper. Okay, this is the current ship that we have in this new save file. And this is currently what this save file has given us for an exosuit, for a starship, and for a multi-tool. As you can see, it's Class C. And now I'm going to exit the game, and we're going to take a look at the save file editor. All right, so we'll take a look at the save file editor. Now, the first thing you want to do when you take a look at the save file editor, and I'll have a deep dive telling you how you can install the save file editor, but for now, let's just take a look at it. We're going to take a look at this new save file. And then we're going to take a look at the exosuit. And the multi-tool, we are going to make this into a royal it will be a class s and we're gonna generate a new seed and damage will be off the charts scanning will be off the charts and mining we're gonna leave alone and now we want to edit the multi-tool. As you can see, it's three by three. And we're gonna resize this. And if we try to make it larger than eight by six, it will correct it back. So you don't need to be concerned about making mistakes in this editor. It's very forgiving. And so now we're going to make that change. And we are going to enable all slots. And now it is a 6 by 8 and there are 48 slots. And this takes care of part one. You can take a look at part two. We'll dig into the ship. And you can see there are some damaged items, and I'll show you how I can repair everything and upgrade the ship. And we'll make it a class S. But for now, 
we're going we're gonna to jump back into the game and take a look and see what it looks like. Now, you want to make sure that you also uh, save your changes or they won't be saved. So that's all been saved. And I will close out the editor and jump back into the game. So we're going to go back to the save file that was just saved just a few moments ago. And we're going to reload it. Now the only thing I've changed for this save file so far is we gave him a Class S Royal uh, with 48 slots for a multi-tool. Five minutes later. Okay, now let's take a look and see what we've got. Exosuit has not changed. Starship has not changed. But now we have a Class S Royal multi-tool. And we have a base potential in a damage of 3666 and a scanner range of 2200. And this is going to end part one. Stay tuned for part two. We'll dive into this deeper. If you like the content you've been seeing here, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. I'm going to click this button right now, and I think you should too. And thank you very much for taking the time to hit that bell icon after you subscribe.